by default, your ISP provides your DNS server. But it's not necessarily the fastest DNS server that you can get now, is it? In our previous video, we saw some of the best and free public DNS servers that you can get your hands on. And in this video, I'll show you how to find the fastest DNS server for you. Hi there, I'm Vampgene Smart DNS Proxy, and in this video, I'll show you how to run DNS benchmarking to find the fastest DNS server for you. Before we begin, let's understand the concept of DNS benchmarking first. As we know, the DNS server translates domain names like google.com into IP addresses like 209.85.135.103. Now, the speed at which a DNS server can resolve domain names into IP addresses depends largely on its geographic location. For example, new cloudflare DNS could be the fastest performing DNS server for a user living in New York, but Google DNS could be faster for another user in Texas. In some cases, you may get better download speeds if you continue to stick to your ISP's DNS server. We'll come back to that later on, but for now, let's see how to compare DNS speed. To know which one is the fastest DNS server for your computer, we'll use a free utility called DNS Benchmark. It's only available for Windows though, so if you're using Linux or Mac, use Namebench. Its developer hasn't released any new update for quite a long time. It still works like a charm. So yeah, go ahead and install it. I'll leave the link in the description below. To benchmark all the available DNS servers, simply go to Name Servers tab and click on the Run Benchmark button. For most accurate results possible, ensure the DNS Benchmark tool is the only thing using your internet connection during the test. So turn off Netflix streaming, online games or other downloads that might be using your internet. While benchmarking each DNS server, the software does three different tests like cache name, uncache name and .com lookup for accurate results. While it's added, DNS Benchmark also does DNS sec authentication test on every DNS server. Due to all these tests, it can take quite some time to complete the benchmark. The best thing about DNS Benchmark is that unlike other softwares that only shows the response time, DNS Benchmark gives you some expensive data like minimum response time, average response time and etc. Once the test has been completed, DNS Benchmark will sort the service by fastest first. If you go to the tabular tab, you can find the detailed test results. It will test the speed of all popular DNS servers including OpenDNS, Google DNS and 20 plus pre-configured DNS servers from your computer and then arranges them in descending order of performance. The bars represent average time it takes for DNS servers to resolve web domain names into their equivalent IP addresses and thus the lower the better. We ran several benchmarks and OpenDNS was the fastest in our location, but since the result depends on one's geolocation, your results might be different from mine. Unfortunately, DNS Benchmark doesn't offer any way to set the DNS server directly. You have to manually set it up on your OS or your router. We have dedicated videos for OS, router and all other streaming devices, so look for those in the YouTube cards. That said, here's the important bit. Sometimes these results can be deceiving. Remember when in the beginning when we talked about how sometimes your ISP DNS could be faster than public DNS? Well, let's talk about it. Imagine if you had to download 2GB MS Office installer from Microsoft.com, which most probably have their own server in the US. So technically, if you download the file from the US, it would be a bit faster than doing it from Australia, right? But usually it's not. All the popular sites like from Netflix to Microsoft use a CDN like Akamai, AWS, etc. to have their files stored in multiple servers all around the world. So when you go to Microsoft.com from Australia, a CDN will use your computer's IP address to determine your current location and then redirects your server to the nearest one to you. Meaning the file will be served from the CDN data center that's nearest to Australia, thus having no impact on the download speed. However, if you use public DNS servers like Google and DNS, the CDN may not get to know your accurate location of your IP address as it's being masked by public DNS servers. Therefore, the website could serve you Office Suite installer from US instead of Australia. Hence, it'll take a lot more time to download your files. So be sure to keep that aspect in mind while choosing the fastest DNS server. To check if your ISP's DNS server may be the fastest one for your connection because they're located physically near you, type in ipconfig forward slash all on terminal and look for while you're next to the DNS tab. These are your ISP's DNS. Next, open DNS Benchmark and add these two values in the software. Once you've done that, click Run Benchmark to run the benchmark with your ISP's DNS servers. 
you might notice that your ISP's DNS is the fastest one around you. Even if your ISP servers are the fastest, you might still want to switch to another DNS server that provides malware filtering, parental controls and other features. It helps to know how comparatively fast the other options are. Well that's all for now. Check out Smart DNS Proxy if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora or even Amazon Prime Video. And check out our other videos on DNS servers if you like this video. As always, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I'm Vamdine Smart DNS Proxy and thanks for watching.